Welcome to the 2016 Lucas Oil NCHA Super Stakes. We had a big day of finals today and I'm here with the winner of the amateur final, or one of the winners I should say, Michael Townsend, who scored a 217 on Faith in My Cat. Congratulations, Thank Michael. You. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So how does it feel to have a, you know, a major title under your belt? Uh, it feels pretty great because it, it, they don't come easy and it's been 16, 17 years since I've been doing this. and. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a dream, really, to come down and have a run come together and have several good runs and uh, and have you know have my my trainer and all the people that have helped me over the years that you know through some of the very not so good times of you know being a true amateur. So uh, it's just been great to share it with them and have it come true. You know, you took a long break from showing yourself and you've just come back with flair because you've had a lot of success tell us about it yeah I guess it's a, a combination of I've got twin 13 year old boys and uh, you know, we kind of dropped out for about 10 years just just because you just can't do everything and uh, and the combination we, we've been raising horses for years and we've had these two smooth as a cats out of a horse we call faith in her mate she's had some really nice horses before another horse called faith in my cat with a C and he's won over 550,000 so these two are special and they uh, they've been their, their, their integrity has been um, just unbelievable uh, they're responsible they're honest and so we said you know I should go two platoon with Tommy so he shows him in the open and I've been shown in the amateur and they're just they're just as good for me as they are for him and they're just it's just worked out so we decided let's go show well talk us through your run today uh, well we had plans so I had a good draw so that we were fourth in the herd uh, we had several cows. We said, let's find whichever one's easiest to get to we can cut. Uh, that didn't work out. We were, our cow we wanted was on the back fence, so we pushed it all the way around the outside. A nice white cow. Um, it was a great cow. It made the horse work really hard. It, uh, it pushed on us pretty hard. We almost flushed cattle at the end. Uh, it, was, it was hard to get off that cow, and thank God we did. Uh, turned around, had a black mod around the outside, nice and easy to get to. Just chipped it off and put down, and it was a good cow, and so we decided let's just stay till the buzzer. And, uh, and, he, and it was a great cow, and horse, horse did great, and it just was a good run. Now, as we mentioned, you're a co-winner, which, I mean, there's usually a, an equal placing somewhere in yeah. the final, but not so often with first place. Uh, how did it feel when, when Reagan Plendel, who came out and, and equaled your score, how were you, what were you thinking at that point? Uh, I, I really didn't think the 217 would probably last because, you know, it was pretty early. But I know Reagan. Reagan, we cut together at, at Carthage. We were at Arbuckle. You know, she's a great showman. She really is. She's got a great horse. It was actually on one of Tommy Marvin's mares. So, I mean, I knew it was a great horse. She deserved it. I mean, it was a great, nice, super clean run. And she's uh, she just does a great job every time she goes. So to walk up there and be able to share it with her, you bet all day. I said, let's do this all year, you know. Well, for the rest of the day at least, because you've got another um, final with the same horse in the Unlimited. Right. The Unlimited final is next, and we marked on the first go 2.15 to get back to both of them. So uh, we drew up, I think we're like 11th in the first herd, a little bit deep in the herd, but uh, this horse is the kind that you can go cut some pretty aggressive cows, and it works better. He really brightens up, and he stops so hard, and he's so gritty that, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get up in the top, top group again, hopefully. Well, good luck with that and congratulations for this title. Very good. I would say one other thing, though, just that uh, I've been with Tommy and Marvin for like 16 years. And as an amateur, you don't, you don't achieve anything without a great trainer and someone who really takes care of you. And it's just been so much fun. He's kept it fun for us for 16 years. And it's so great to share it with him to actually go down there, put a great run together, you know, put a plan in place and, sh and have him there to see it really work well. I'm sure he'll really appreciate that recognition. Yeah, yeah well, he's, uh, he's kept us in it. To be honest with you, when you trust somebody and he's honest as he is and he's a good friend, you know, it makes it fun.